Hi Capricorn. Welcome to your What Does Spirit Want You to Know reading. This reading is going to be a Celtic cross. It's general and it is collective. Um, we're just going to lay out a Celtic cross and after I've got all the cards laid out, I'll show them to you as I lay them out. Then we'll go back and talk about them and it's an open message, just whatever Spirit's wanting to say to you today. God guides angels, archangels, and Holy Spirit. I thank you so much for my Capricorn friends. I thank you that they look to you for guidance and assurance in their lives. And I thank you for clear and concise messages, confirmation, validation, and clarification, and love, light, and prosperity in these readings. Show us, what is your message for Capricorn today? Okay, so we're starting out in the energy of the lovers. Okay, so Capricorn... This, like, like I said, it's a general reading and a collective reading. It could be that you are in a very uh, loving soulmate type relationship, or it could be that you have found out about love for yourself. The story's going to tell itself as we go out, um, as we continue through. But so that's the card we're starting out with, the lovers. What's crossing you is the king of wands. What is your underlying... Uh, energy, the reason that you are where you are right now. And we've got the five of wands. Okay. And your um, recent past, we have the page of swords. And your crowning energy is the four of cups. Your near future is the ten of wands. And your current energy, your attitude toward all of this, wow, is the Eight of Wands. It's a lot of wands in there, Capricorn. Your outside influences is the Queen of Wands. Wow. Capricorn, what is going on with you? Your hopes and fears is the Queen of Cups and your potential outcome is the Nine of Wands. Wow. Okay. So we're going to start out by talking about the Wands because there's a whole lot of Wands in this um, reading. And for me, I am an intuitive reader. So for me, Wands talk about um, spiritual things they're, they're inspired things and things that we're passionate about. Um, and, and wands also for me indicate growth, especially in, in this, with this particular deck, I'm just going to show you the wands show the, the little green spurts of growth at the end of them, right? So trees grow leaves and bushes grow leaves, but wands don't actually grow leaves. So Anytime I'm seeing wands, especially in this deck, uh, I'm thinking about growth. Something is happening where you're growing. So we're going to start out with this right here. The, uh, the lover's card, which is your the current energy around you. Okay, so I feel like there's something going on with you, Capricorn, where you are. Um, it's like you've come to yourself. You've had some kind of revelation about your value, your worth, what you're willing to uh, to put up with in your life and what you're not willing to put up with in your life, Capricorn. It's like you've decided that there is um, There is, there is a part of you that has always um, sacrificed. You've always sacrificed, and, and because of that sacrifice, sometimes you have lost pieces of yourself along the way. But something recently has happened that has brought you into your own wholeness. And it has to do with whatever's crossing you is this King of Wands. Okay, so... A crossing card can either be something that's meant to push you forward a little bit or pull you back or it's a challenge. 
okay? In this particular instance, I, I'm feeling like this is a little bit of both, possibly. Pushing you forward because, you know, we're all male and female, right? So it's like your logic. Uh, kings are visionaries. So you've got a vision about something and your logic about it might be pulling you backwards. The vision itself is wanting to pull you forward within this current energy and the and the logic that goes along with being the male energy wants to pull you back however there's growth here there's passion here and there's inspiration here so this king um he leads by inspiration and by passion with passion um and he makes his he he takes every step he only takes inspired action inspired steps so i feel like that's while it's also it, while it's giving you a boost to move forward in whatever this is that you're going through it's also kind of pulling you back because the logic of it all you know the, somebody said when we follow our spiritual path nothing about that is logical so i feel like it's a boost and a and a uh it's like you've got a tug of war going on within yourself so the reason that you are where you are right here look somebody not just somebody, some people possibly have a lot of ideas about what you should be doing with your life, about how you should take this new understanding of yourself. Okay, so I get, yes, I get it. Okay, so so there are, you get on the internet whenever we're ready to walk this path of spiritual growth. We get on the internet and there are so many ideas about what it is that we need to do to go to the next level, to get to the next step, to manifest whatever into our lives. Whatever whatever your question is, whatever it is, because it's a general reading, I'm not pinpointing, <coughs> excuse me, anything in particular, but whatever it is, if you get on the internet, you're going to find so many different ideas. Um, because everybody's got a different opinion. Even people following the same path have different opinions about things, okay? So I feel like that's why you are where you are right now. That might have something to do with this push and pull that you've got going on too. But the good thing is, is that you've, you've come into this reading in your, in your own wholeness, in your own ability to understand that you are valuable you are worthy um you, you are it's like you've merged the male and the female within yourself which is what helps bring us into our wholeness so your recent past is the page of swords okay i'm feeling like somebody somewhere possibly some of these people have come in uh younger energies just new into the uh, spiritual path trying to explain to you how you need to move forward right they're they're younger than you possibly chronologically younger than you or possibly they are um, newer into this journey than you are however they have real strong ideas about what you need to do to move forward and this is their truth that they're introducing into your um into your journey okay so this is your crowning energy right here the crowning energy is for me it is it is your higher self your spirit guides your archangels your angels whoever it is that you rely on for guidance when you're when you're meditating tapping into your intuition it's those energies, okay? So they're saying, or that energy is that you are currently real focused on what it is that you need to do, what what steps you need to take. You're you're definitely um, you're definitely wanting to be diligent about it because this is important to you. It's like it, it's. It is a deep emotional desire that you have to move forward, right? And here's the universe trying to give you an answer, but you're but you're looking at these these other cups that are out there. It's almost like you're looking in the wrong direction. And 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 
you're getting too many different ideas about how to move forward. So this is what, in the near future, I feel like you're going to take all of the burden of trying to find the answer outside of yourself and lay it down. And I think that's the main message here for you, Capricorn. The message is not outside of yourself. So, so you're going to lay it all down. Your personal attitude toward this, this is communication with spirit, with, um, with, in, it's a, it's just a lot of woo, a lot of fast moving communication. And the fact that I dropped it, it feels like you probably had your own answer in your hand recently and, and dismissed it. It's like you likely had uh, a download or, or, uh, a, an answer to a prayer or a meditation or something that came to you and you thought that's too simple. I feel like that. I feel like there's been, but your, but your, your attitude toward it all is that you are wanting to find your answer. You're going to communicate with whoever, however, because you're ready. You're ready to find that answer and you're ready to put all this growth to work in your life. Okay. Your outside influences is the queen of swords. So, the Queen of Swords is, again, very inspired, very passionate. Perhaps there's somebody in your life that is um, a, a little bit older than you or a little bit um, maybe in this journey a little longer than you've been, Capricorn, and they've got a lot of experience under their belt. And they're coming in with some also they're part of this right here, this, all this, everybody with different opinions, but they're more like-minded with you for, for whatever reason, I'm feeling like this person or this idea or this book or whatever it is, it was, it was, it was communicated in passion. It was an inspired communication and it's, it's a little more. vital to the choices you're trying to make for your own life. And and as I'm saying this, I'm I'm thinking my my little monkey mind saying, but that could be, you know, anything. That just makes it even more confusing, but they're telling me you know what I'm talking about. You you can likely pinpoint the word you heard, the person who who gave it to you, who spoke it into your life, the book it was that you read, the song it was that you heard, whatever. There has been some kind of outside communication that came in to you from a, a, a source that embodies the qualities of this queen. Now, what's the difference between this queen and this king? Okay, this king is, I'm seeing it as part of you that is feeling all the inspiration and everything, but he's, he's fighting with his logic. Like your logic's telling you it can't be just as simple as believing. It can't be as simple as just knowing. It can't be that simple. And and this queen is coming in. This other source is coming in and saying, this is how simple it is. This is all you have to do. This is, you know, there's, there's going to be lots of people out there taking advantage of people who truly have a desire to learn and to grow. And they're going to be giving you uh, different hurdles to jump along the way and by the way each one's going to cost money right and and so they're um and i'm not saying this about everybody but it happens in this community as just as it does in every other type of industry that some people come in with ideas that that help to grow their business or their pocketbook and it in fact is not necessary steps that aren't necessarily necessary. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so your hopes and your fears, you just want to be fulfilled. You just want to be able to have that unconditional love for yourself, that unconditional nurturing love for others around you, and you want to be able to present yourself with grace and poise and all that stuff, Capricorn, so that 
so that as you move forward, you're so full in your se- in yourself in a good way. You're so full with emotional fulfillment that you can you can extend yourself to others without worrying about what their motivation is or anything like that because you know who you are. So that's your hope. Well, how does that become a fear too? Well, you're fearing that all these people, all these wands out there might actually um, have something to have something to say that might have caused you to miss out on something. I hope that's making sense. Um, it makes sense to me. It's like your your hope is that you're you're going to be good, emotionally fulfilled, solid in who you are, and how you present yourself and show yourself in the world. But your fear is that some of those other people may actually be right and so you're going to keep your lid on your cup for quite a while right if you stay in fear the outcome the potential outcome is the nine of wands now in a lot a lot of decks this is or in a lot of readers call this the wounded warrior right i don't see this as the wounded warrior i just can't I understand he has a bandage on his head, right? But look at his expression. It's like, not that he's mad at God or his source, whatever, whoever that is to you. Not that he's angry, but look, it's like, he's like, really? Really? I went to battle and did all of this and it was just that simple? What my answer, what I'm looking for is just, just that? And look what I've been through. And the funny thing is, and it's not really funny, but we put ourselves, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine yesterday. And um, we we have the same ideas, like the same end ideas. And in her mind, it just is what it is. And this is how you have to do it. And that's it. That's good enough for me. And in my mind, it's like, we don't agree with the how to get there. Not that I think it has to be hard. I agree with her that it's, I guess, I guess we agree on the how to get there. Um, she has been able to walk through her life easily, right? I have had to, I have had to get in the battlefield and fall my butt down and allow God, my, my creator, my source to pick me back up again and put me stand me back upright for me to understand things like love and compassion and she understands that just because that's what she's taught that's what she says that's what they say we're supposed to do so she just does it (laughs) and it's like I'm not um, I'm more hard-headed than that so this is I feel like this is me I'm not angry at God look at that he some, you know, you might think, oh, well, he looks mad at God. No, I'm not angry at God. Sometimes I look and I'm, and I'm like, really? I mean, it's just that simple, really? And, and sometimes it is. Sometimes we take all of these experiences and turn them into something way bigger than they need to be because the lesson doesn't have to be that hard. And I feel like that's what this is all about because there's so many wands there's something going on with you, Capricorn, in this world that you are, you're growing into, you're, you're growing, you're finishing up with, you're putting, putting those burdens down, done with that, and you're ready to, you're just ready to move forward in, in f- emotional fulfillment and grace and poise. And, and it looks like whenever you finally figure it out, whatever it is, it's like you're going to be going, Really? I put myself through all that, and this was the answer. It's going to be amazing for you, but you'll be done with it. You'll be finished with it, and you'll be able to move forward. Okay, so we're going to pull a um, an oracle card from Enchanted the Enchanted Map by uh, Colette Baron Reed. This is it. I'm going to show you. Um, we're going to pull an oracle card and see what else Spirit has to say about this reading um this morning earlier this morning in my meditation i heard the word excel 
and I know there's a movie called Waiting to Exhale, and I was like, okay, so I feel like I, I need to go watch this movie, right? Um, actually, it wasn't in, during meditation. It, I was channeling my mom uh, in the. I was I'm practicing that writing out, channeling, and writing out. So I was channeling my mom, and she was saying some stuff, and then at the end, she said, "It's okay to exhale." Stop holding your breath. So I thought, okay, there's a movie. So I thought, I'm going to go um, watch that movie real quick while I'm getting dressed. I'll have it on. And it was like these women put themselves through so much um, wanting to uh, find approval, wanting to be accepted, wanting to be loved. But when, it, when they finally love themselves, which is where you are, when they finally love themselves, it was like they didn't do this, but it's, it's kind of like, you know, really? It was just that simple, just a decision I needed to make? Because sometimes it's that simple. It's just a decision you need to make, Capricorn. And I'm not talking about those women. I mean, I am talking about, I am referring to that movie that I was watching this morning as I was getting dressed, but it's very, um, I can't think of the word. My mind's like blank, but it's kind of, it kind of like it, it, it colors a picture for, for a lot of us, men and women. That we just, we want somebody to love us. But when we finally make the decision to love ourselves, it's like, oh, it's that easy. All I have to do is decide to love myself. And it's like, we, it's like we exhale. And so I thought it was a really great message coming from my mom this morning. Um, and, and this kind of made me think about that. That whenever you get to the other end... <laughs> on the outcome, all those swords behind you, all that growth, it's all great and it's all fine, but it was just about a decision. You, it was just about making a decision, and that's how simple it can be sometimes. Okay, God guides angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, show me clearly what is the oracle card message that you have for Capricorn in this reading, please? What is the oracle card message you have for Capricorn? Into the unknown. Wow. Okay, so it's a seven. And it looks like, see, she's blindfolded. She's beautiful. I love her dress. I love the colors right here, the passion up there. Um, but we're going to see what this has to say. Into the unknown. Trust, and all will be revealed. Life is an adventure, and often new opportunities will arise that you won't know how to deal with. This is one of those times you're required to trust that this new phase will reveal wonders and miracles as you step into unknown territory. Imagine that you are not only a pathfinder, but a pathmaker. Whatever your inquiry, whatever your inquiry, trust that you'll be safe. Stay aware as you discover new and marvelous territories and valuable treasures. So I feel like that I feel like that really kind of speaks to the same thing is that you know just just trust, exhale. You make that decision, exhale, you're fine. Uh and and the more we try to figure out how to um take that next step the more confused that we get. So if we just trust and walk forward and see what new discoveries are out there, not about fixing ourselves. Once we make a decision that we're fine, then we're fine. Once we make a decision that we love ourselves, then we stop all that self-sabotaging behavior. We just do. So that part's done. It's like, it's like, okay, yeah, it was that easy. So in the near future, you're going to put these burdens down. And you're going to go out and discover new adventures and you're going to trust that you're just fine. 
walking through these new adventures. So I think that's very appropriate for this message. Okay, God, guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, thank you for this message for Capricorn. Show us clearly what other messages do you have for them in the PS. Show us in the PS what other messages do you have for Capricorn as it relates to what you want them to know. They see that you've been heartbroken. They see that brokenness, and they, they acknowledge that. And it's part of that growth. It's part of, of this um, journey that you've been on, okay? They, they're acknowledging that. So you have a decision to make right now. It's like you hold the world in your hands right now. Are you going to keep listening to what everybody else says you need to do? Or are you going to listen to yourself within? Remember I said, and don't, don't, I, I want to go back to it because I feel like it's important. Remember I said earlier, I feel like, um, you know, you're focusing on all the things that everybody outside of you is telling you what you need to do on this journey, right? And when the universe is saying, we're trying to give you the answer, but you're so busy trying to get it from everybody else, you're not listening to us. Remember I dropped this card and I told you I feel like it's because um, whenever I dropped it, it's because it's like you've already gotten the answer. It came to you during meditation or prayer or a book you read or something. It was like an actual answer from the universe, not from another person, from the universe, like a book, the right book that you needed to read ended up in your space or the right song that had the right message ended up on your radio or or during prayer or meditation you got a vision or you saw something and you thought well it can't be that simple whatever it is it's like you, you get to decide now you get to decide now am I going to with with the thought of my world what's what's out there for me next am I gonna understand that I'm good where I'm at and I'm ready to move forward or am I just going to keep hanging on to what's behind me trying to keep figuring it out? Because I feel like the universe has already given you an answer about something, but you just keep thinking, I just keep hearing uh, that you think it's not that simple, that that's what you keep playing in your mind. It just can't be that simple. But the universe is saying it was just about a decision that you needed to make about your own worthiness, Capricorn. <laughs> it's your time. So when the wheel of fortune comes up in a reading that, you know, everybody says it's your time because the wheel goes round and round and round, right? And then when it comes in and it's upright, it means that you're on the top side of that wheel, Capricorn. It is your time. You get to decide what to do with it next, okay? If you keep focusing on these things that, they're, that they've already given you the answer to or are trying to give you the answer to, if you keep focusing on these things, you're going to miss what's next because this other card... Is telling me that there's some really cool discoveries for you to make out there not that has to do with this because this is already settled as far as the universe is concerned but if you decide to stay here you'll miss this you'll miss those those um, those opportunities that the universe has set up for you based on your own desires um, that can change your world and, and be bigger and better than anything you've ever imagined. So I feel like it's time to stop trying to fix it. It's already fixed. You all, it's time to move. And I feel like this has actually been a theme um, through the, all the readings I've done so far about what Spirit wants you to know. So Capricorn, that's what Spirit wants you to know. And um, I, I look forward to seeing you again next time. Go out and have a super duper day. Bye.